We are once again welcome to grade 11 accountancy class. So we are discussing the present purpose book, isn't it? So the previous sessions we discussed cash book under the special purpose book. There are different types of cash book. One is single column cash book, then double column cash book, then petty cash book. Now we are going to discuss very very important one, purchase book. So purchase book is coming under special purpose book. So why we are going to prepare purchase book? What is the reason begin? Mostly the purchase book, whenever going to record credit transaction of purchasers. Okay, that's not very important meaning here. Because the more suppliers we are dealing for books on credit purchasers, we want to maintain separate book. We can't do in a main book. For that, we are going to prepare special purpose book. See here, under the special purpose books, now we are going to see purchase book. So what is the meaning of purchase book here? See here, purchase book records records all credit purchases of goods. So we are going to record only the credit purchases of goods, not cash transaction, only credit transaction. Okay. So that's all here, the goods in which the enterprise is deals in. For example, we are dealing in computer business. So any computer going to deal for credit purchases, you want to maintain purchase book. Similarly, suppose we are going to discuss, uh, we are going to do some other business, for example, dealing with real estate business. Okay. So real estate also, we can deal with what we want to maintain the purchase book and in our credit transaction. They will pay later on that. Then, according to our type of business, especially for goods purchased only, we are going to create purchase book. Here, no question of purchase of assets. Now, let me see now. So what is the important one? As a purchase book, records. All credit purchases are goods. That is a very, very important point. Maybe credit purchases are credit transaction. Dealing with goods in which the enterprise deals in, according to the goods dealt by the different enterprises. Thereafter, here, very important one, as a cash purchases. Thereafter, any purchases of assets may be cash or credit. Any purchases of assets may be cash or credit. Thereafter, very important, purchase of session for office use for cash and credit, not recorded in purchase book. So three information very important, we are not going to record in purchase book. One is cash purchases, second one, purchase of asset, maybe cash or credit. Third one, any stationary purchase for office use, maybe cash and credit. Here, very important meaning here, as a purchase book according to the purchase of stationery. Suppose your main business is purchase of stationery, you can create purchase book. That's what here, yeah, very important point. Books in which tender price deals in. As a office is used when you purchase for stationery, for study, you can't write in a purchase book. That's why very, very important meaning here. Purchase of stationery for office use. This value is very important. Office use for cash and cash or credit, maybe the, our discussion on credit, not recorded in purchase book. Suppose we are dealing a stationary shop, that time we can maintain purchase book because our main business is stationary business, correct? But coming for the office use, suppose you are running a company for office use like purchase of paper or other stationary notebook like that, you have to write in a separate, not in a purchase book. So now you can't record in a purchase book, that's why it's very, very important thing. As a cash purchases, one, thereafter, purchase of assets may be cash or credit, thereafter, any purchase of stationery for office use, may be for cash on credit, not recorded in purchase book. That is a very, very important point you have to keep in your mind. Then, this book is prepared, how? On the basis of invoices, supplier raised invoices, we are going to prepare on the basis of gateways. So what you purchase according to gateways? purchases of basis of invoices or bills received by the firm from the suppliers of the goods with the amount net of trade discount very very important here what's the meaning of trade discount nothing but quantity discount here what's the meaning of trade discount we already discussed in the source of document under the correct here trade discount means what any bulk purchases from the supplier supplier offering you a trade discount for more purchases, they will encourage you to buy more. Then supplier give you trade discount. Here, other meaning, what do you mean by cash discount? 
whenever your immediate payment, we will get cash discount. So cash discount is different, trade discount is different. So here, very very important point. After whatever the amount you purchase from the supplier on credit basis, we are going to direct trade discount. Maybe it is called quantity discount. So trade discount is nothing but bulk purchases. Any supplier, you are going to buy any bulk purchases from the supplier. Supplier offering you trade discount or nothing but quantity discount. Okay, that is very very important meaning. Then, the purchase book also name, other name is what? Maybe we can call invoice book or bought book or purchase day book or purchase journal or supplies journal. Okay, so different names we can call as a purchase book. As invoice book or bought book or purchase day book or purchase journal and supplies journal. You understood? That's what we can also call different names. Not only purchase book. Thereafter, the format of purchase book is very very important. See here the date when you are going to buy on credit transaction as a from the supplier. So date and particulars of the suppliers account to be credited. So usually you know our supplier account is credited when you are going to buy purchases. What is entry for purchases on credit purchases? Purchases account data are to suppliers account. That's what you have to mention. The particulars of the suppliers. So what you are going to buy. Then the invoice number. Here we can write description of the goods. So what are the goods you are going to buy? Description of the goods here and supplier name. And then supplier name you are going to mention. What are the things going to buy from the particular supplier? Then we want to mention the invoice number. Here ledger for you, you know, where you are going to post later on, are going to post which page number, particular supplier, ledger for you. Then details. Here only you have to mention whatever you are purchase of quantity less any trade discount. Right. Here trade discount or quantity discount. We want to mention here. So outer column you will get total amount. That's what the format of our Purchase book. Okay, asset date, particular some suppliers. Here you want to mention the supplier name. Under that, purchase of description of goods. What you are going to buy. The details you have to mention here. For each quantity, rate, number of quantity into rate. Thereafter, noise number, the jet for you. Details here you have mentioned detailly. What are your total amount? Less trade discount. Any trade discount supplier offering that you are going to direct from this amount details. You want to mention here clearly. So outer column, we can say total amount. Okay. Now let's see how the purchase book going to be recorded. Okay. So just to see the format of purchase book and different names of purchase book also. Now let's see the format of purchase book. We return clearly see here as a purchase book. Date particulars, noise number, as there for you, details, total amount. I will take you and say the book, page number 126. I mentioned here, page number 126. See that previous page they given. Kaniga traders. Okay, consider the following details obtained from Miss Kaniga traders and observe how the entries are recorded in the purchase journal. See in your book, they given just the total details, correct? See the down of the information the given. See date, date details. August 4, 2017. Likewise, they given August 4, 10, 18, 26, 29. So thereafter, they given the what is how much you are purchased from Dream Electronics, the total amount. Now, now let's see how you are going to arrive the total amount. Okay, one by one. Okay, now take your insert the book. Then you see this video, then you will be understood. Okay. So what is the first transaction? See, August 5, for 2017. Okay, so 2017, 2017 August 4. So what is the entry? What is the details they given? Details. See, purchase from Miss Mrs. Nima Electronics. Bracket they mention invoice number 3250, 20 mini size TV at the rate of 2000 per piece. Then 15 tape recorders at the rate of 12,500 per piece. They given trade discount on all items for 20%. Now let's see how we are going to write. Okay, first one we have to write. What is the name of the company? Nima Electronics. Okay, we have to write Nima Electronics.
Okay. So name of electronics. Invoice number, they given very clearly. What is the invoice number? Invoice number, you have to mention what is the 3250 here. 3250. Okay. Thereafter, they given the details. 20 mini size TV. You have to write. See. Here. You have to underline. 20 mini size TV. Okay, at the rate of 2000 per piece. Okay, so we have to write where? 20,000, we have to write here how much? Totally 40,000, correct? 40,000. So each mini TV 2000, so 20 mini size TV how much? 20 into 2000, totally 40,000. Okay, that is the amount, you got it. Then you see next one, 15 clear recorders at the rate of 12,000 per piece. Okay, so you have to write what? 15, 15 clear recorders. Clear recorders at the rate of 12,500 and please. So, we have to multiply 15 into 12,500. So, how much are you getting? Okay, you have to multiply. See here. This I will show you. 12,500 into 15. Okay. So, 0, 0. 5 15 are 75. So, 5. 75. Right. So 7, you have to carry over. Okay, 215 are 30. 30 plus 7, 37. So 3 carry over. Okay, then 1, 5 are 5. 5 plus 215 are 30. So 0, 0. 15 are 75. So 5, 7 carry over. 2 into 15, 30. 30, 37. 7, 3 carry over. So 1, 15 are 15. 15 plus 3, 18. So what is the total value? 1,87,500. Okay. So you have to write it here. 1,87,500. Okay. So then the given what is discount. So whatever total, what is the total here? Here 0, 0, 5, 7, 8 plus 4, 12, 1. So 2 lakh 27,500. Okay. That is the amount you can got it. 27,500. Now we are going to do what? Less a discount. See less a discount. A discount how much is there given? 20% for all item. Correct. That's what? You have to write what? 2,27,500 into 20 by 100. So how you will get it? So just multiply by 2. So 5. So here 0 cancel. Here also. So here 22, 750 into 2. Okay. So how much will get it? Totally around 45,500. Let's see. See here. 2, 2, 7, 5, 0. Into 2. Okay. So this 0 cancel. This 0 cancel. So 22, 750 into 2. 0, 5, 2, 7, 10, 1. 7, 2, 7, 14, 15, 1, 2, 2, 7, 4, 5, 2, 2, 7, 4. So how much? 45,500 are going to deduct. Okay, so 45, see, 45,500. So you are going to deduct outer column. How? See here, 0, so 0, 5, 5, 0, thereafter, 7 minus 5, 2, so here we consider 12 minus 4, 8. So totally how much? 12 minus 4, 8. So balance 1. So 1 lakh 82,000. You understood now? Not this one. We purchased. So multiplication and cancellation of the discount is very, very important. So that part should be very careful. You can write here discount here itself. You can do like this also. 
Okay. Now understood. From the August 4, Nima Electronics, 20 mini size TV, 2000 per piece, 40,000. Thereafter, 15 tape recorders at 12,500, 1 lakh 27,500. So you want the total like 2 lakh 27,500. From that, just create discount. From the 2 lakh 27,500, how much? 20%. You get it 45,500. So finally, you want to mention in a purchase with how much? 1 lakh 82,000. Now go for the next one. August 10. Bought from Pavan Electronics, invoice number 8260, 10 video cases at the rate of 150 per piece. Thereafter, 20 tape recorders at the rate of 1650 per piece. Trade discount, 10% on purchases. They give us. Now we are going to do, okay. Then August 10. Okay, so August 10. August 10. The name of the supplier is what? Pavan Electronics. You have to write. Power Electronics. Okay. Power Electronics. We have to underline. So what is the invoice number? Invoice number 8260. So what are going to buy? 10 video cassettes. Okay, you have to write. 10 video cassettes. At the rate of 150. So we have to mention currency value very important. At the rate of 150 per piece. So we have to multiply. 10 into 150. So as you know how much? 1500. That's what I want to write out of call here. 1500. Okay. Thereafter, 20 tape recorders. See the 20 tape recorders. 20 tape recorders at the rate of how much? 1650 per piece. So we have to multiply 20 into, so just see, 1650 into 20. How much? 0, 0, 5, 2, 7, 10, 1, 6, 6, 7, 12, plus 1, 13, 1, 1 into 2, plus 1, alright, 33,000, we are going to buy how much? 33,000, okay, so 33,000, okay, thereafter, we are going to do this, what? Trade discount. Trade discount. How much for this value? Correct. What's the total value now? 40. Sorry. 34,500. 34,500. Trade discount. How much? 34,000. 500 into 10 percent. So 10 by 100. Now you want to simplify here itself. Okay. 1 0 here, 1 0 here. So how much you are going to write? 3450. Very easy one. Okay. 3450. So what is our final answer? When you deduct from this, you will get 31,050. Okay, so you are going to minus 31,000. Okay, now second is over. Now, next one. What is that? August 18. Okay, now go for the August 18. Here, so August 18. So what is the name of the person? Again, Northern Electronics. Purchaser from... Northern Northern Electronics Invoice number 4256 You have to write 4256 What is the discussion? 15 Northern Studios 4000 per piece, isn't it? So 15 15 
Martin Stelios at the rate of 4000 per piece. So how much? Maybe 60 lakh, 60,000, correct? 4000. So 15 Stelios at the rate of 4000. 15 into 4, 60. So 60,000, isn't it? How much? It is 60,000. 60,000. We have taken it here. Okay. Thereafter, this one is what? 20 Northern Color TV. 20 here. Yeah. Put under in this. 20 Northern Color TV. And the rate of 14,000. 500 per piece. Okay, so 20 into 14,500. How you are going to calculate? 14,500 into 20. And I lose the so 0, 0, yeah, 0, 0, 5 2s are 10. So 1. 4 2s are 8 plus 1 9. 1 2s are 2. How much? Naturally, coming under 2 lakh 90,000. Okay. So, 2 lakhs. 2 lakhs 90,000. So, what's the total now? We are going to do now trade discount. How much is they given? 12.5%. Okay. So, 12.5%. Trade discount. So trade this one. Less trade this one. How much total? Three lakh fifty, isn't it? Yes. So three lakh fifty. Okay. For three lakh fifty. Trade this one is how much? 12.5% into 12.5 by 100. Okay. So once you simplify this, you will get how much? 43,750. Okay. So accordingly, just you cancel this 20, 20, multiply by 3,500 into 12.5, 12 you get how much? 43,750. 40. 3,750. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. See, 3. Okay. 3, 5, 2, 0 taken into 1 multiplied by 12, 5. So I will get it the answer. Accordingly, you have to be correct. You get the 43,750. For mathematical, your multiplication is very, very important. Reduction very important. Addition very important. So now see what is the outer column, the rate amount. When you deduct 3 lakh 50, 000 minus 43,750, you will get 3 lakh 6,250. 3 lakh 6,250. Alright. Now check it in your book also, total amount. See, the books of Kaniga traders, under that they are given uh, Nima Electronics, 1 lakh 82,000. Thereafter, Pawan Electronics, 31,050. Now, Northern Electronics, 6,250. This details, it is not there. They given directly total amount. Okay. That's what now we are going to do. Now, thereafter, I will continue here. Okay. Anyway, amount is in here. You understood now how you got it 1,82 and 31,050. Now, let's see further discussion. So, I will clean it next one. Next date is what? 26. So, I will clean it 26. Uh, same Nima electronics only. Okay. So here Nima electronics just I will clean it here, here only. Nima electronics. Okay. That is 26. Continuation. It is a continuation. I am continually doing namely August 26. Okay. Purchase from Nima electronics. Invoice number 42, invoice number 
थ्री टू नाइन फोर थ्री टू नाइन फोर ओके थ्री टू नाइन फोर सो थ्री टू नाइन फोर सो वट इज दी टेन मिनी साइज टीवी करेक्ट सेम टेन मिनी साइज टीवी At the rate of thousand, earlier two thousand, now thousand. At the rate of thousand, okay, so thousand. Thereafter, five color, five color TV. Okay, first I'll finish this. Ten mini size TV, correct. Ten mini size TV. At the rate of thousand per piece, how much it will come? It may be ten into thousand. It coming under ten thousand. Okay. Ten thousand. Thereafter, next one is five color TV. At the rate of twelve thousand five hundred. That tape recorder, five color TV. That five color TV, five color TV. At the rate of twelve thousand five hundred per piece. So how much you will get it? Okay, so five into twelve thousand five hundred, maybe it will come sixty-two thousand five hundred. Okay, so sixty-two thousand five hundred. So what is the total here? Naturally, seventy-two thousand five hundred. Here I clean it here. Okay, so trade discount they give how much? Twenty percent. Okay, how much will be paid? See here, the given trade discount twenty percent. Okay, five into twelve thousand five hundred. That is sixty-two thousand five hundred. So total becomes seventy-two thousand five hundred. Now seventy-two thousand five hundred. We get twenty percent. How much? Same manner. One zero here cancel it. Here and cancel it. Seven two five zero into two. So we get it. What's the discount value? Discount value may be. Fourteen thousand five hundred. Okay, so fourteen thousand five hundred. We will get how much? Zero, zero, zero. And twelve minus four eight. Okay, so six minus one five. So in your book, it is wrong. Please kindly change it. That is not fifty four thousand. It is fifty eight thousand. Okay, that is very very important one for the August twenty six. Okay, it is not fifty four. In your book, we check it. August twenty six. Three two nine four invoice number. They have mentioned how much? This is not fifty four. This is coming under fifty eight thousand. Please kindly change it. Now the final one. R is twenty nine. Again, who? Power electronics. Okay. This I clean it. It will come up to here. So date is August twenty nine, isn't it? So August twenty nine. So August twenty nine. Power Electronics. How much you bought? Twenty one video cassettes. Right? So twenty one video cassettes. Okay, twenty one video cassettes. Twenty sorry, twenty video cassettes. Twenty video cassettes. So the rate of one fifty per piece. So as you know, easily out zero zero. It is thirty three thousand. Correct. So here I change. So twenty videos at the rate of one fifty. How much? Three thousand. Okay. See here zero. Here zero. Two fifty na thirty. Okay. There are ten. Just one. Finally, twenty five tier recorders. So twenty five. Tape recorders, tape recorders. At the rate of thousand six hundred, you stop. Okay, thousand six hundred. So how much you will get? Twenty five into thousand six hundred. You will get it how much? Exactly forty thousand. Correct. Twenty five into thousand six hundred. We are going to kill. Okay. Twenty-five at the rate of thousand six hundred. So you get it. 
almost totally as coming under around 40,000 isn't it 25 into 1600 40,000 okay now total is 43,000 so what is our trade discount the given trade discount how much 10% so they usually given 10% so i will change it here Trade discount is ten percent, so forty-three thousand into ten percent. So same manner, here one zero I cancel it, here one zero. So naturally how much? Four thousand three hundred. So what is my outer column? Forty-three thousand minus four thousand three hundred. I will get it thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. Thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. So understood. That's what our continuation. Now, see in our book now only the mistake from where Nima Electronics, August twenty six. Remaining thing, see to check it in our book. This not six lakh twelve thousand. It is six lakh sixteen thousand. Now you see. Now I clean it. Okay, now understood. So continuation. Now you know what is our total. Just to clean it here, you understand now. This is what your final transaction. The existing one finally. What is the Running total for our purchase book. Now see how we done it. So whatever the details here, our date is here. Then one more thing here, I want to mention invoice number eight two six one. Correct. Eight two six one. That is very important. Eight two eight one. Eight two eight one. That is our own electronics. So finally we done it everything. Now what is the total? Total comes to six lakh. Sixteen thousand. See in your book, this not six lakh twelve thousand. So total is what? Six lakh sixteen thousand. That's what you are total. Okay. From the total, you have to write what? That is called so very important. That is called your purchase account transfer. Correct. August thirty one. End of the month. You have to transfer where? Purchase account. This amount. Purchase account. So this total. We're going to transfer which account? Purchase account. Okay, that's what they give us in your book details. In your book, they give us only the this amount all. They not give us the breakup. But you have to write like this in your purchase book detailly. So whatever the name of the supplier, thereafter our details, details recorded. What is the total attribution, uh, description amount, number of articles into piece rate? Then we're going to get everywhere. Available trade discount. So very important thing here. Don't consider any purchase of asset. Then any cash purchases. Finally, any purchase of stationery for office use, maybe cash or credit. We're not going to record in our purchase book. I understood. I was going to do purchase book. Now we'll continue for the same thing. How it will be appear on running account. Just to see that. Now we'll continue the same manner in our discussion. I was going to record in our. Each supplier account. So now see after the completion of the purchase book, how we are going to enter how in the books of Kanishka Electronics, maybe ah Kanishka Electronics, how we are going to write as a purchase account and different supplier account. See in our book only it is there. In the book just see. So as you open the books of Kanishka Electronics. Under purchase account, already no. This is our purchase book total. Okay, that's why I not clean it. I shown for you understanding. It is not six lakh twelve in your book. We change it. It is six lakh sixteen thousand. Okay, how how we have to write? So date you know August thirty first. So two. How we are going to write? So the in the book they given very clearly. See the purchase book page number one twenty seven. When you see that, you can understand. So we have to write two sundries as per purchase book. Two sundries, two sundries as per purchase book. How much? Six lakh sixteen thousand. Six lakh sixteen thousand. Here, what is the meaning of sundries? So that is the total amount of the different suppliers. Correct. So I am dealing with how many suppliers? Maybe maximum one Power Electronics, Northern Electronics. Right. 
so the uh, two or three different suppliers collectively call the total amount of purchases. That's why you're going to write two sundries as per purchase book. Sundries is the total of this amount. Correct. That's what the meaning. Sundries. Total of the suppliers. Purchase during the month of August 31st. You're going to write in a purchase account in the debit side. Right, purchase account two sundries as per purchase book six lakh sixteen thousand. That's why for our credit purchases are going to write separate in a purchase book, not in a purchase account itself. Why? Because here the dealing with different suppliers, we are going to write in purchase account as whatever even cash purchase and credit purchase. So that round become confused. We don't know how much you are going to pay our supplier the amount or how much you purchased by credit. Suppose any purchase return. Next, we are going to see later on purchase return. That time, what will happen? Become confused. For that, you want to maintain purchase book separately for credit purchases. Then, whatever the month of the credit purchases, we carry over to the purchase account. In a purchase account, I say every month, maybe you have to mention, two sundries means total month of purchases in the credit purchases from the purchase book. In the purchase book, this total. I am going to write here. Two sundries as per purchase book. How much? Six lakh sixteen thousand. Then you want to write each and every supplier name. See in your book itself they given. First one is who? Nima Electronics. Right. See in Nima Electronics. Suppose you want to open Nima Electronics. Okay. So we purchase two different period. What is that now? See in your CRT book page number. 126. They clearly given August for the purchase of one amount. Right? August for the purchase of one amount. Okay. What is the purchase? The third is going to be August for how much? Maybe one lakh thirty-two thousand. So in here, Nima Electronics. You want to write what? Year. Uh, year is year August thirty-one, two thousand seventeen. So year two thousand seventeen. August for. By purchases, correct. Right, you want to write by purchases. How much? One lakh eighty-two thousand. Okay, as I said, credit side. You mentioned here. Okay, credit side. Thereafter, August second. What is that? Pawan Electronics. So we are going to open Pawan Electronics here. So as you should do the problem, you have to open simultaneously. So that is very easy one. Here, due to space purpose, we are writing separately. As a common electronics, what is the amount? The August ten, correct? August ten. You have to write two thousand seventeen August ten by purchases. Buy purchases. How much? Thirty-one thousand fifty. Thirty-one thousand fifty. Okay. There are two. August eighteen. Northern Electronics. You have to mention. Okay. Supplier. Northern. Northern Electronics. So as you date August eighteen. So two thousand seventeen. August eighteen by purchases. How much? Three lakh six thousand two fifty. Three lakh six thousand two fifty. Then August twenty six. Nima Electronics. Only open correct. So August twenty six by. Purchases. How much? Not fifty-four. It is fifty-eight thousand. That is very important. Fifty-eight thousand. Okay. Then, finally, August twenty-nine. Common electronics. Now we open it. Yes. August twenty-nine. Buy. Purchases. How much? 
According to the date wise, how you are entering the supply here, you understood. Now, so whatever it is, that month you can carry over, Just any payment you have to pay it here or again you want to continue. For example, how you are going to close here, in your book it is not there, anyway you want to close, you know very well. So here, maybe I want to close, so I will cancel here, suppose that month there is no cash purchases, I am going to uh, move for the next month, how the balancing here, so again. Uh, 2017 August 30 by, by balance by balance carry down same amount 6 lakh 16 ok then I want to carry over next month what is the next month sorry September 1 same year so 2 balance balance brought down how much 6 lakh Similarly, I want to maintain my supply. Now I want to know how much I purchase from Viva Electronics. So what's the total year? Okay. So what's the total year? 0, 0, 0, 8 plus 2, 10, 1, 6, 14. So 240,000. That is my purchases. So I'm going to write here 2017 by August 31, 2 balance. Got to write to balance carry down because same total I'm going to write it here. Right? This side nothing is here. So I have always purchases as a supplier point of view it will show credit balance. Similarly as a purchases upon always debit balance. You understood now this one. Right? Then so as a total two two lakh forty thousand. Right? So two lakh forty thousand are purchases. So the same total, uh, first I have to write it here, then I have to write it here. Then I want to carry over this month. So what did they say? September 1. Okay. So by balance, by balance, brought down. How much? See, this is very important. Carry down and brought down. Okay. So C bar D means carry down and carry the balance. Brought down means from the balance and bringing for the next month opening. That's what brought down. 240,000. Okay. Then any purchases for September again continuation, cumulative. Hey, first particular supplier, any payment, suppose here any payment they mention, our balance will be reduced, supplier balance will be reduced as a reserve portion, as a very well. Right. Similarly, for common electronics, what is the total here? Okay, so 759, 69,750. So similarly, 69. 750 by August 31, 2017 to balance to balance carry down 69,750 similarly I am going to carry over here September 1st by balance by balance brought down See, I am going to write only under the line, not here. Again, okay. Same amount, anyway, you have to write 750. See here. I am writing here this balance. Okay. Now, similarly, Northern Electronic, same amount, single transaction. So, I am going to write 2017, August 31, to balance. Carry it out. Same amount, 3 lakh 6,250. So double underline. To the single transaction, then I want to carry over here. September 1st by balance. Balance brought down, same amount, right? 3 lakh 6,250. So understood now?
So once you finished our purchase book, we are going to open purchase account to record our monthly purchase of the supplier as a credit purchases. Then you want to open the supplier's account, each supplier account, of orient our information. Your total amount supplier year one, NEMA electronics, thereafter power electronics, thereafter after electronics, three supplier. Collectively, total purchases for the month of August, 16,000. So now you understood how we are going to record credit purchases, credit transaction, especially for the purchases of the particular consent. Here, very important point, cash purchases, purchase of asset, any cash purchases or credit purchases of stationery for office use, not recorded in purchase book. That you have to keep in your mind. So for example, I will tell you, now you take page number, one of the exercises they have given. There you can clearly understood. Here, you take page number 157. For that, question number 13, you are going to do the purchase journal. See the transaction 23, which date July 23. Okay. There, see, they are given purchase from lumber furniture. So, here the business is stationary. So, we can enter stationary in the purchase book. But as a purchase of furniture, it is as a head. You did, do not enter, not going to record in purchase book. This we want to omit. Okay. Trans that is date, which date 23. See it. July 23, that you mark it. So they are given purchase from Lumba furniture. Okay, as per invoice number. Two chairs, 600 per chair. One table, 1000 per table. Okay. So that one, you should not enter in purchase book. That is very, very important. Because it is a asset, not a purchases of the concept. Understood? That's what only the business dealing with purchases only, we have to enter in a purchase book. Not asset, then any cash purchases, thereafter any cash purchase of stationery or stationery for office use. That is very important. Maybe credit purchase of stationery use, especially for office use. You do not enter in what? Purchase book. That point you keep in your mind. For this, there is number 157. Once you go through, go through it, July 23rd transaction is asset transaction. That you don't enter. You no need to enter in purchase book. That you already keep in your mind. Okay, now understood. So now I hope that you understood how you are going to record in purchase book. Under the purchase book, recording on transaction. So what is the meaning of purchase book? What are the different name of purchase book? How you are going to record in a purchase book as a format? I will explain in detail with the illustration. So detailed explanation is very important. So what are the total, we have to say purchase account. Then you want to open a purchase account. Then you want to mention two centuries as per purchase book. Thereafter, you want to open supplier's ledger. Accordingly, you want to enter the transaction gateways. Okay. So I hope that you understood purchase book. Then when you output in NCRD book, you can be able to understand that. Okay. Thank you very much.